So uh, after I woke up and after making the meditation video, um, I realized that I made uh, that I left a couple things out uh, that I probably should have started with. So I made I'm making a new video um, to kind of start it off as as an introduction, which will help um, which will help better um, make better sense of the things that I talk about in the meditation video. Um, and basically what I wanted to, I want, I wanted to do two things is one, I wanted to talk about the elements of manifestation, um, related as related to meditation. And then also give an example of something you can manifest through, um, meditation in the form of healing yourself. So we're going to talk about the first thing first, which is when, me when meditating to manifest something, um, when meditating to manifest something in your life, the elements, the elements of creation um, exist in the in the form of it starts off with sound, vibration, um, motion. Actually, motion, vibration, sound, light. Then comes light. Then comes um, geometric form. Then comes form. Then comes uh, function. Okay, so these are the these are the levels of, of manifestation. Something starts as as motion, energy in motion, has a vibration, has a um, a sound related to that vibration, has a light associate a, a color a, a color on the color spectrum or light associated light frequency associated with it. It has um, a geometric form associated with it. It has a re a regular form. A physical form associated with it, and then the last thing that um, that makes it complete is is the function, and that is the formula for manifestation. And what you want to do while you're meditating is put as many of these different ingredients together within your meditation as possible. Fuse them with your thoughts and your feelings, and have all of this fused. Have all these things fused together. Um, and the basis for that is that everything in physical creation and therefore anything that you would want to manifest has all these different levels to it. It has a sound. It has a vibration. It has a color. It has a light frequency. It has a geometric form associated with it. It has a form associated with it. And it has a function associated with it. So to manifest something... You take the idea of what you want to manifest and then you put these different layers together within your manifesting. You are literally building what you want in your mind. And then as within, so without, you build it on the inside and it manifests on the outside. Um, so that's the basis for what for what the, the video is going to be about. And it goes into a little bit of a deeper um, a deeper explanation. But I wanted to lead off with that. Because I didn't feel like that was clear in the video and I wanted to kind of front load, you know, and preface what I was saying with that um, so that it would become a little bit clearer. So let's give an example. Um, <clears throat> so say you wanted to heal yourself. OK, so you're going to meditate and we talk in the video. There are, all, there are an infinite number of purposes to use meditation for. And what I just described was one use. But let's let's give an example now. So to heal yourself. So say you want to heal um, your heart. Let's pick the heart. Um, say you want to heal your heart. Say you're having pain in your heart or there's some kind of trouble. Or maybe you even have a physical ailment with your heart. Uh, maybe, you know, you're, it's, it's, it's clogged up or, uh, you know, it ha has some plaque on it or something like that. And you want to, you want to get rid of that. Um, so a way to meditate to, to, to bring healing energy to you. So what you would do is, okay, um, you would start with this. You start with the sound. Okay, first, first of all, you set your you set your thoughts and your feelings, and you fuse those two together. So you set your you 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 set out with what you intend to do. You visualize with what you intend to do, and then you back that up with the with with a feeling, uh, and make sure that they are in concert. So you're thinking you're thinking about healing your heart, and you're also feeling. You have the feeling. That because here's the thing, if you feel like this is a worthless activity, then that's the energy you're going to generate and it's going to be worthless. If you generate the feeling of, oh, this is a um, this is 
a worthy exercise. This is something that's helping me. This is something that is um, going to bring benefit to me. Then that's what it'll do. It'll bring the benefits to you. Um, it'll, it will accelerate the benefits to you um, because it's thought driven. So if you, it's, it's no, it's, it's, everything is a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you don't think you can do it or you don't think it's going to happen, then it doesn't happen. Thoughts are facts. If you do think it's going to happen and you do believe in it and you manifest things in that direction, then it will happen. Okay, so it just depends on how much energy you want to push put behind what you want to happen. That that is that's that is the biggest determining factor of whether something will manifest. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? And that just makes you know that makes sense. Like the harder you go after something, the more likely you are to get it. Let's let's get into it though. So um, first, you want to align your mind with your heart, align your thoughts with your feelings, uh, infuse it into one intent that I am going to heal myself. I'm going to heal myself. Uh, I'm going to heal my heart. <clears throat> so um, that's that's the first two. The 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 the, the th first two things you want to line up. Now you want to line up a sound, because um, now we're starting to actually build. We have the thought, we have the image, we have what it feels like, and now we're going to actually start to physically build it in creation. Sound. So you want to, um, for your heart, you want to vibrate at a tone that is consistent with your at your chest and, and, and play 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 with the different tones in your body and and go from go from the lowest you can go and observe in your own body how the vibration moves up and down um and then okay so we're focusing on the heart now so get the vibration that stays at your chest for me it's right about right there so while i'm meditating on the in i will inhale and when i exhale i will hum at that tone right at the heart and that will bring the vibration and i can that is generating energy and physical reality and like we discussed in the video you can, once that energy is present you generate it once it's present you can use it for whatever you want to use it for and how how we were using it we're using it to heal the heart how does the universe know that because we have set the intent with our thoughts we have set the intent with our feelings and so the energy you know oh this energy is coming into being for this purpose and then it will use the energy for that purpose so now we've lined up three things thoughts feelings uh sound all working towards one goal Okay, so we're fusing these ingredients together for one goal, which is healing the heart. That's so all this is happening. Um, so let's see, it was, it was, it was motion. You're going to feel the motion, um, in, especially in your heart, because your heartbeat goes to emotion. Um, so that's that. That's going to be your frequency as well, is, is going to be your heartbeat. Um, so with every beat, with every beat, that is a wave of energy being released. And imagine the quality of that energy being of a healing nature so it's not just your heart beating boom, 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 boom. but imagine imagine the energy being released with that heartbeat deals with healing and healing in your heart and that is exactly what that energy will go and do you direct the energy with your consciousness um, and then so next will come light or color um, again we talk in the video the heart chakra is green so green is a good color um, bright gold is a good color, the color of healing. Um, depending on what you want to do, you could even run the whole spectrum of colors, uh, Roy G. Bibb, if you want to, because balance is also key. So you can balance your heart chakra with all the colors, um, and that will, that will have a holistic effect. If there's something specific you wanted to work on, or just on the heart chakra itself, green is a good color, gold is a good color, um, and that deals with the light. So right now you got... Your thoughts, thinking, healing. You got your feelings. You're feeling like you're healing yourself. Um, so you set your intent. Then you, you're, 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 you're listening to your heartbeat. You're listening to the vibration. You're listening. Uh, you're, you're feeling the pulsation. You are directing that energy to be of a healing nature. All of these things are coming together. Now you have a geometric form. Um, you can choose a, a geometric. You, the, the, the geometric forms. 
are you uh, deal with deal with um, sacred geometry and the fundamental building like the because the fundamental building blocks of our physical universe are geometric in form so um, there are certain geometric forms that can be used for certain things manifestation um, you can read up on that and see which form you want to use but you but the but the whole key is um, and there are certain forms related to different chakras um, and the the heart chakra um, the geometric form related to the heart chakra is the is the six point star known as the known as the star of David um, the, the used in Judaism but in reality it goes back much further um, ancient Nile Valley um, but that's the geometric form associated with the heart chakra so now you you can throw that into the mix so you're not just thinking it you're not just feeling it um, you're not just you're not just um, using the heartbeat, using the vibration, the color green. Now you have the shape, the the six pointed star. All incorporate all of these ingredients into your meditation, and you're and now you're really you're really manifesting something. Um, form and function. Function function is is a way of bringing it back to the beginning. We set the function in the beginning. We wanted the function to be a healing energy that is going to heal the heart. Um, so now as you meditate and you're in your in your in your in your meditation and you're breathing you're breathing and you're and you're concentrating and your objective is to heal your heart um, you bring these different ingredients together and it will accelerate and create the effect of bringing a healing energy to your to your heart area um, and that is how you manifest something through through meditation um, and that's one example but you can apply that to anything you can apply that to anything because the ingredients are all going to be the same motion vibration sound light geometric form form function combined with in, included in that is your thoughts and your feelings fused into one intent um, you combine all those things and you have a recipe for creation creating whatever you want to create um, and it will come it will come so that's a little bit of an intro uh, before we get into the actual video uh, so yeah all right peace <laughs>